Hey, what's up, YouTube? In this video, I'll be showing you how to make Kevin's treehouse from the movie Home Alone. As a slight disclaimer, the treehouse is actually part of a much bigger build in which I have tried my best to recreate the entire McAllister house from the movie Home Alone, but for some reason I just really did want to make the treehouse by itself for this channel, but if you would like to make the entirety of this build, there is a tutorial, you'll be able to find it on my main channel, which will be in the description below, and I'm sure that it may even be in the card system. It's a really long video, but if you're up for it, then I would highly recommend it if you love the movie as much as I do. It's a Christmas classic. I almost said it's a classic Christmas, <laughs> and I don't go a year without watching it. Here are all of the materials that we will need to make Kevin's treehouse. Please do make sure that you have access to all those materials and enough of them as well. And now that we have all of our stuff, we can get started. Step one, ladies and gentlemen, begin by placing eight spruce wood extending up from the ground. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Place an oak plank behind this eighth block. Extend it to the right by one and left by two. One, two. We want to extend each of these oak planks forwards by five. One, two, three, four, five. And we want to do the same with each of the others. The only difference, of course, is that we can't do the one that is behind the spruce wood. However, what we do want to do is destroy this oak plank in front of the spruce wood and place a row of ladders extending up from the ground all the way up to the top and eighth spruce wood. Then place upside down oak wood stairs along the right, front and left sides of your treehouse. We then want to place a row of three oak wood planks along the back of the treehouse. One, two, three. Then extend both sides forwards by four. One, two, three, four. Just like this. We are going to be adjusting the shape of these walls, but that's not important right now. What we then want to do is create a small window shape on the front. We take the bottom and top blocks here on the right side and extend them across each by two. Join them together at the end and maintain this little hole here. Then we take the top and then we extend left by two, one, two, and then down to like this. So we have an entrance, which is how Kevin actually gets in the treehouse in the first place. And we also have a little window. We're then going to place upside down oakwood stairs along the left and right side of the treehouse like this. In addition, we're going to place a spruce fence along the edge of the, it's somewhat of a balcony really. We then want to extend the spruce wood that we started off with, so this eighth spruce wood here. I want you to extend it so it extends up and out the top of the treehouse. And what we can then do is place a roof on this. So that's going to be made out of spruce wood slabs. These spruce wood slabs are pretty much going to just cover the entire shape of the treehouse. And when it comes to the point where we've kind of just like filled in the top like this, we just want to add an extra row hanging off the front. And that's the shape of the treehouse almost sort of done. Out of the top of the tree, the tree gets a little bit messy, so I'd recommend extending it probably about three and a half rows up out of the top of the roof. You see it's a half row because of the slabs. Take the middle block, extend it outwards, maybe even add a diagonal. Place a couple of haphazardly placed dark oak fence extending up, and then you've pretty much just got like a tree that's lost all of its leaves, which is what this is. Then we are going to add a couple more details. So the treehouse, whilst it might have been made well at one point in time, has become a little bit dilapidated. So I'd recommend knocking out a couple of blocks here and there and placing some oak signs. It doesn't really matter where you do this. Make sure you've got about one or so on each side. 
However, specifically on the front of the treehouse, the upper left hand corner here, I'd recommend destroying this because it's it looks this way in the movie here. Um, I'd also recommend, this isn't necessarily a window, it's kind of just like a, a hole where a couple of boards have fell out, so I'd recommend just adding one there. And if you kind of want to get into uh, a little bit more realism, there should be a hole at the back of the treehouse here where Kevin pretty much puts his legs through the back of the treehouse. So it'd be roughly about here or so, which doesn't make too much sense, to be honest. It is definitely on the back right of the treehouse, but he enters here. But hey, maybe he had, uh, he had a messy landing. So we're going to now grab iron bars and the front right corner of the actual tree house are like here not the balcony we're going to extend down some iron bars i think about five will do so that's already two three four and then actually we'll do four and then the tire swing will hang just one row off the ground i think so we're actually going to get rid of these materials that we have here and we're going to swap out for some more so black concrete button loom Black banner, school charge pattern, white dye, a chain, light blue bed, green carpet. Underneath the chain, I'm going to, or rather the iron bar, I'm going to hang black concrete with a button like this, and that's a tire swing. I'm going to place a loom down, and I'm going to open the loom, place a black banner in there. Uh, banner pattern, school charge white die and boom we have a pirate flag it can be assumed that kevin is a pirate hence why he is so good at close quarters combat with <laughs> with the burglars um yeah he's got a pirate flag hanging off the front right hand corner specifically facing this way the point of the chain is if you want to connect it to something and sort of make it look like a uh like a zip line so that would be extending from the top left hand corner of this door here and if you have something to connect this to whether or not you've made um my version of the McAllister home or aka you know kevin's house or whether you know what you want to give uh, give your own a go um it's up to you but the point is that um it's meant to the point is that he zip lines into his tree house and that is extended from a window of a house and if you want you can also add like a, an oak fence gate and it kind of looks like the thing that you would like grip onto um it'd technically be above it but you know i mean we we can do that it'd technically be just above it just like this but then I don't, I don't think it looks quite as good but here it does so there you go now when it comes to inside of the tree house, there's not too much, you don't even get to see it that well, but there's definitely some sort of sleeping bag, hence the blue bed. Um, then there's just mess all about the place, so hence why I've got green carpet, and I've also got like yellow carpet, red carpet, some paint, a painting, and uh, lanterns. And I'd recommend just kind of like adding some, I mean, I, th I think it's main just, mainly just like comics and stuff up here. So, you know, just litter the floor with these sorts of things. You can add some item frames if you like. There is a light which is going to be suspended from the top of the tree trunk here. And there is also some form of like picture on the wall or something. So I really like the white and black um, one by two painting for this. That's perfect. And then, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. You know, believe it or not, we have sort of finished. There's there's nothing that we are really lacking here. That's the build complete. So, I do hope that you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please do remember to hit that like button, as it would really help me and the channel out very, very much. If you're new around here, please do consider subscribing and leaving some suggestions down below. Do remember to click that little bell next to the subscription button to make sure that you get all my stuff sent directly to your sub box. And if you do want to make anything else by me, for instance, the entire McAllister house, you may want to check out the card system and the description below. The description below specifically will have the link to the entire build. It's a really, really long build, and the reason that I isolated the treehouse is because for some reason I just have this mental attachment to it. I think that it's really cool. I really like it. But you are more than welcome to, of course, uh, make the entire manor if you like as well. But thank you so much for watching, everybody. I love you all very much, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye!